Party. Hey, welcome to Scumber Party. Let's have a toast for the scumbags. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, did, did you, you write yeah. that? That was really good, huh? That's really good. Bing, bing, <laughs> bing. <laughs> What if I did the whole song right now? Yeah, yeah. that's oh, what I wanted. I I paused to let you with the yeah. three minute fart solo. Oh, I I couldn't. He <laughs> 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 pulls that's out a little keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I couldn't really. You know, he said something before that part of the song. It, the true Kanye heads will know what I'm talking about. It sounds like he, where he's like about to do the old vocoder, yeah, like mm-hmm. solo thing, and uh, he says like. You know, he says something. Yeah, uh-huh. it always sounds like a- Amy Adams. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, okay, am I not the no, you know, it, yeah. it Amy absolutely. Adams? Yeah, <laughs> I, there's a chance you told me that. No, uh, okay. I can't. Yeah, there's like, a chance not we... think about it every time yeah. it happens. But yes, it does sound exactly like yeah. Amy Adams. I think he was reading the back of an Arrival DVD. Yeah, yeah. no, that's <laughs> when, exactly. And then what they was. were like, "Kanye, you ready?" He's like, "Amy Adams." <laughs> Forrest Whitaker. Oh, oh yeah, those <laughs> I thought it was Enchanted personally, but yeah. yeah. Oh, Enchanted. Yeah. Enchanted. <laughs> uh, or uh, something about the pianos. Anyways, I, yeah, I don't know the name. <laughs> we're, we're not going to crack this mystery today. No. Um, but one day we will. Piece by piece. Yeah. Um, we are. Uh, An- I'm Andrew Murphy. Yeah, I'm, I'm Danny Goodwin. And I'm Ashley Sharma. Nice. And we are. The scumbags. Scumber I don't know why I'm doing party. this. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing all the. Scumber uh, party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of pageantry going on right now. That's unnecessary. Yeah. That's not usually how we do things. I think it's the shirt, dude. Yeah, yeah. What is this, a fucking burlesque show? I'm yeah. like, really, I'm really hamming it up here. We yeah. can just get moving. We you all know fucking, what it is. Yeah, you fucking know what the goddamn form it is. Yeah. You scum bucket pieces of shit. Yeah, know? and I'm sorry if da- if Danny's language uh, offended you, you might want to uh, uh, go watch there's something There's another else. podcast for you. Yeah. Oh, it's not this one. It's oh. called NPR. <laughs> per uh, party. Yeah, NPR per party. <laughs> yeah, I'd put the headphones in on this one. <laughs> I right? would I would tell the kids to go to bed, and I would turn the lights down low, and then turn that weird light on, the one that's different colored. <laughs> this is imagining a married, married couple. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> there's a new <laughs> scumber <laughs> party. <laughs> yeah, just fucking. Just, 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 yeah. just raw fucking during the episode. <laughs> <laughs> just real animal monkey sex. If you are married and then you listen to this, it actually... Yeah. It undoes your, your marriage. <laughs> yeah. Annuls it. I think we've, yeah, I think we've, we have more ruined ma- marriages than fans at <laughs> yeah, this point. No yeah. Way. yeah. <laughs> we've crunched the numbers. People aren't happy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. We're at the new studio. That's cool. Dude, yeah. Big debut of the new studio. Congrats to Josh and the uh, Comedy Frequency Thank family. You, appreciate wow. it. Yeah. The first podcast in the studio is you guys. So. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah. We're setting sail. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. I like it. We're, you know, we're in like a downtown setting, which feels cool. Yeah. I you like know. that it, it, Danny looks like he's getting a cool picture. I'm in a cave and it looks like you're about to do a burlesque show. We yeah. have three very different I look backgrounds. like I'm on the set of Moulin Rouge or something. Yeah. But we're all, <laughs> we're, we're all here. We're all one foot apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I look like Boz Lerman did my wardrobe over here. <laughs> I'm my Dennis Miller all of a sudden. Let's just fucking. Let's go. Let's fucking do it, babe. Let's That's do it. That's what he says. Um, now, we're at a slumber party. Of course. And we're all hanging out, you know. Uh, you know, picking our noses, right? Just, you know, waiting to just do something with with people, and then someone goes, uh, "How about uh, we get the VCR out? You know, and watch a little movie." Yeah. Okay. Um, are you guys following where I'm going with this? I think yeah. I know exactly okay. where you're I going. I think with I this. know exactly what's about to happen too. I know I'm being a little cryptic, yeah. but I think we should start off with a movie. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And that'll be the last time we clap. We're not gonna keep. <laughs> not we're, we're not gonna keep clapping. No, we're gonna. Yeah. That's not. We're well, not letting that heard What fucking oh, movie I you're, brought? You're, all yeah, right? you're gonna hate my story. <laughs> it's The Conjuring, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Clap heavy movie. <laughs> oh well, speaking of which, it's fucking October. Mm-hmm. So you know, Murphy had the brilliant idea, and I, f- I fully agree with this. We keep it all horror in October for mm-hmm. the movie recommendations. And uh, I think it's it's mine this week. Yeah. Right? Um, and my pick is 1987, John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness. Oh. Lovely. Oh. Wonderful choice. And um, Prince of Darkness, have you have you guys seen it? No. I've seen Heard it. Heard of it. You have seen it. Yeah. But you haven't. It's so, 
I saw it described as like part of a, um, I believe it was called the like Apocalypse Trilogy. Yeah. Which encompasses, and I haven't seen this third one, but it was uh, The Thing, Prince of Darkness, and then I believe the third was in The Mouth of Madness with yeah. um, Sam Neill, and mm-hmm. it's kind of like based on like Lovecraft. I, I haven't seen it. Have you guys seen that I one? haven't seen no, that I one either. I haven't seen that one. Um, and I really like Prince of Darkness, but I mean like The Thing, you've seen The Thing, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, yes, yeah. of course. Classic film. Thing about Prince of Darkness, set up in a very similar way, in my opinion. Yeah, it kind of it kind of has a little, little same. Yeah, well, a little slow sizzle, slow burn, slow burn. It's about these like scientists, mm-hmm. and um, like something starts happening to one, and then it spreads to others, and they're trying to figure out. But what I will say is, I mean, it's still a very good movie, um, but the context of it, I find. Maybe more interesting than the thing, just okay. in terms of like. So the the idea with the thing is it's like it's this um, alien from outer space that like goes to Antarctica, lands there. First time we see it is the dog. The dog starts mm-hmm. fucking up everybody, and then Kurt Russell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great movie, um, but you don't get like a ton of background on what that might be. It's not necessary. You wouldn't like, I wouldn't want to know like, Oh, it's the fucking, you know, from planet, whatever. Like, well, that's what movies do now. They They're like, they over explain. Explain. like yeah. I, I want to know, was this villain loved as a child? <laughs> yeah. Did they have an orchard? <laughs> right. Like, you know? we, gotta, exactly. we gotta stop with the obsession with backstories. I, I don't care. A movie is a thing happening to people. Yep. Just show us the people and make the things go. I, I don't, don't understand. Need, I don't need the rules of the universe. That's what fucking, uh, I feel like Nolan does a lot of the time. Oh. He's like really breaking down like why these things are happening. Like, oh, it's going backwards because, well, because we're ba- we're in the mirror. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and Denzel's my the- dad. <laughs> and like he's yeah, just yeah. breaking it all down, you know? Yeah. And that's the only time he didn't do that. Heath Ledger's Joker. Right. You don't know a thing about his past. Yeah. yeah. You know, not to get well, too that, far off track. Well, but that's absolutely true. He doesn't, yeah. there's no rules there, right? right? Like it's, he's, he lives by fucking no rules, the Joker. And that's what makes him the Joker. I don't know? even want to talk about that yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's a little too dark for this podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's too scary. Yeah. Right. Um, but this one, Prince of Darkness, I actually kind of like the rules Ooh. and like the universe that it creates. Basically, the the plot is these scientists are taken on by this Catholic priest who um, lets like them in on this like secret society that he's a part of. That's like protecting the secret that him and like a bunch of Catholic priests and you know historically secret societies, Catholic priests don't amount to too much good stuff. Right? We're not watching a Pixar. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless it's one of their more heady ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. Oh, you haven't seen Cars 2? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Coco sequel got really dark. Yeah. <laughs> really, really yeah. different than the first. <laughs> Once he became an altar boy, it was all out the window, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, well, that's where I was going with the Catholic priest. But and, anyway, these Catholic priests do not fuck kids. They're the good guys oh, in this okay. movie. Nice. And um, they are... Like, there's this underground, um, like, just sort of area, like, under this church, and I, I can't remember what city they were in, but, like, um, there's this green liquid that sits in this, like, cylinder underneath this church, and um, Donald Pleasance is, like, the main, he's, like, from, like, uh, Halloween and shit. Mm-hmm. He... I've, I've been in a church with some green liquid sitting in the thing yeah. in the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you hold it in for that long and finally <laughs> let loose, it changes color sometimes. Oh, yeah. That's what these priests aren't prepared for. <laughs> you would know all about <laughs> Yeah, like, I've about. watched a documentary about it, sure. <laughs> yeah, we all saw a fucking spotlight, all right? <laughs> Sorry, I made a documentary. But yeah, yeah. you guys get it. Yeah. I, I started in a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> I got 15 minutes in. You it was know, a whole movie. I had, I had stuff um, to get to. <laughs> But um, anyway, the green liquid, um, it's Satan. It's a physical representation of Satan. And like it's this pure evil. And, you know, they kind of go deeper into it where they're like, um, you know, looking at like old texts and stuff like that. And they're like translating it from Latin. And then one of them's like, <laughs> these are differential equations. And another one goes, it's like differential equations. 
were only discovered 200 years ago. <laughs> like, it's just like, it's yeah. like there's code in the Bible. Whenever there's, there's a priest in a movie, it's always like the valedictorian priest. Yeah. Like, yeah, they are yeah, the yeah. smartest mm-hmm. priest of all yeah. time. They know, they remember everything. Yeah, you know, yeah, they're doing yeah. trig and stuff in Latin and right. shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And they, um, uh, basically, the, like, the liquid has kind of already sort of gotten to certain people can travel on its own and shit. And it's kind of like, like flubber. It oh, is a nice. little like flubber. It's proto flubber. Yeah. And uh, it goes one by one. There are like homeless people. Like one of the, there's a main homeless person that's played by Alice Cooper. That's like just kind of leading the pack mm-hmm. of all the infected basically. Alice Cooper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alice oh my Cooper. God. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, one by one, it kind of goes after the other. It's a cool fucking movie. It's, yeah. I mean, it's like not as, there's not too many like, bi- I mean, Alice Cooper's probably your biggest star in it. I don't think I've even seen really? Alice Cooper yeah. in too many movies. Who, anyway. What is Donald Pleasance in? Like, I know that name, he, but. Like, he's in Halloween. He, like, didn't he work at the uh, uh, Insane him. Asylum, like at the very beginning? Uh, I mean, he's been in a few of them. All right, yeah. I, yeah, I was going to say Halloween. He kind of sh- broke down the, yeah, guy. the, the story of, yeah, bald British yeah. dude. And uh, no, uh, not too many. That's all good. I just was just like, yeah, other I than know. that. But you know, like Carpenter at that time was you know working with Kurt Russell, and I think yeah. right after that he made the movie with like Chevy Chase mm-hmm. or whatever. So like he was definitely like an A-lister working with like a uh, you know pretty unknown cast. And I think yeah. it's just to like, I mean, I don't know if this kind of movie would pop as much if there was like you know. Yeah. TC was in it or something like what that. What a weird breakout movie if you're a young actor. It's like, we finally got yeah. you a gig. You're in the Satan It Goop stars movie. Alice. <laughs> yeah. It stars Alice Cooper and yeah. some flubber that someone left out for too long. Yeah. And he's like, you know, if you hold it in, it turns green. Yeah, but yeah. Like, what? This movie has like a lot of different horror movie things all in one. It's like, we've got goop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've got Catholicism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've got like, they're kind of zombie-esque people like going around in packs getting people Uh uh-huh we got science it's just like it's got all the pieces of like 10 different horror movie tropes i really like this movie it's really good i mean i i kind of like the um you you know like trying to basically put science to like you know they talk about like oh antimatter and there's another like they're almost trying to like equate like hell and the devil to like just equations and stuff like that yeah. and it, it works yeah. I actually think it's, yeah. it's, it's very good there's I've been in a, math class there's yeah. always a f- <laughs> yeah yeah talk about a horror movie where I want to yeah. kill everyone involved yeah talk about Satan being a math <laughs> yeah 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 pre cal I've been to hell all yeah. right Jesus Christ. so Katoa please. <laughs> Yeah, statistics. I got a stat for you. One hundred percent of the people who take this class fucking hate it. I I really like <laughs> statistics. That was like the easy math. Wait, that was the, that the was fuck? the class that made me drop out of college. No joke. Wait, really? Yeah, I was statistics? like, this is stupid. <laughs> Wait, which which college? Why? <laughs> just just community college. But I was like, fuck, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I genuinely think I was what holding was up the- statistics home- homework, <laughs> looking at a problem, and I just was like immediately like. I think I was just stop going. What was the assignment? I don't have yeah, to go. What? I need to know more about. It why was just statistics. stats. It was like pretty early in the class too. It was stuff, and that's what made it even worse. If everyone else was having a hard time and we're showing up, you know, waiting outside the doors, just like, oh boy, yeah, it's exact, you know. But everyone was just like, they knew. They're everyone like slept in that day. Yeah, yeah. They just kind of, yeah. they're like making out and stuff. It's like, a, I'm like, oh, you guys, straight A's. Yeah, straight A's. <laughs> yeah. So fuck stats, but um, that was so funny. You were like trigonometry, <laughs> and he went, "Yeah, statistics." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which is definitely easier by every metric. No, like no. statistics is way easier than tricks. <laughs> I didn't even get to tricks. Yeah, so uh, you know, I also want to say about just back to Prince of Darkness. Sorry. Yeah, I, I had to wind my way back. I was like Sorry. pulling on the thread back to what we were talking about. I was like, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, Prince of Darkness is maybe the coolest name for a movie I've ever heard. Yeah. yeah. Like, that just makes me want to see it. And it also doesn't really, like, you know, it could be any... I mean, that's just yeah. a phrase about Satan. So it's like, right. it could be anything about the devil. But no, it, this is green goop Satan, Yeah, you know? I, and it works, man. Oh, I was going to just say, I watched... The reason I watched Prince of Darkness, the movie, was because there was an episode of Criminal Minds called prince of darkness and they referenced the movie and i was like oh yep i gotta watch this i used to 
watch anything that was mentioned in an episode of Criminal Minds. So they got real lazy. The writer room got lazy, lazy on that one. Hey, just uh, <laughs> the, watch that one. They just yeah. detail the plot of the movie the whole time. It's like, you just go to the Wikipedia page for <laughs> Prince of Darkness and throw on a murder or two. And, did, yeah. did they do, what was the reference? Did they like do anything like from the movie or I something? I don't remember. I was like a kid, but I, I remember being like, they referenced the movie and I was like, well, I got to watch that to get the reference. Yeah. And so I did it with the Clockwork Orange. Like, whatever was mentioned in Criminal Minds, I was like, got to go figure out what that is so I yeah. get Criminal Minds. Nice. I watched a lot of good movies as a yeah. result. Yeah. <laughs> in one very bad show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I mean, Criminal Minds. I like, I. so here's my, like, a hot take coming from me, not doing this, you know, the red, I can see the Reddit threads lighting up, okay? Yeah. But uh, this is my opinion. I like John Carpenter's work. I like a lot of it. I don't... Halloween has never worked for me. I'm actually kind of with you. Oh, it just doesn't... I, I don't... I know it's great. I know it started this whole subgenre. Like, I get its significance. Not even for a moment am I even kind of, like, freaked out. Right? Yeah. It, it, has, it doesn't move me in any way. There are sequences that I enjoy, but as far as, like, it being... I mean, it's like a thrill ride roller coaster movie. Uh -huh. And then the other ones have tried to, like, add plot to really what kind of just works as like a simple slash i don't need mm -hmm. to know who again don't explain who jamie lee curtis yeah. is for fucking yeah. like six movies but at the same time though i think i'm more into the movies that it influenced yeah. than the movies that or than halloween itself and i think that like carpenter has made like I don't know, like five better movies than Halloween. Right. Yeah. No, and I mean, that's the mm -hmm. thing is that Halloween is, it just feels like a very much like a director's first work, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm never, I've not, I'm not usually a director's first work guy. Yeah. I like to see how they grow. I like to see like what tools they what add. They like do. I'm never, I've never been like, a, oh, Reservoir Dogs is better than Pulp Fiction. Guy. I, like, I just think <laughs> no. that's, I'm just like, no, it's not. I, I mean, I guess some people think that, but it's like, how can you think that? You just, they get better as they go. So yeah. it makes me like want to watch like the thing and Prince of, I've seen the thing, but it, it, it I get more excited for that. About those then. And then like Prince of Darkness. Yeah. I'll for sure. Check out. I come from a family that's like obsessed with Halloween. We've seen like yeah. all of them and I agree. Yeah. I, like I like certain sequences. I like certain moments, but man, especially now when they're doing all this like backstory, I really don't like it. Cause you're yeah. right. It's like a very simple, you're like ruining the slasher part yeah. of it where it's just like, Slashers are just yeah. like, you're there and then you're dead. The, and that's it. The who the fuck is this guy and why does he keep surviving? Like the mystery of that is what makes it a cool movie. And if you like give this backstory, it doesn't, it's not. <laughs> yeah, cool for sure. I, I think that's a great way to kick off our October. And I think we might have like five episodes coming out roughly. We'll see. So that'll be, that'll kick us off. Uh, for for fright fest as we call it, oh, yeah. not you know that we thought of that. Right. Yeah, we just yeah. thought of that. Not trademarked. Uh, <laughs> fright fest here at Scumber Party. Right. We're calling it Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. Universal's Halloween Horror uh -huh. Nights. And we got a few Scumber iron Party. rattlers because we're just <laughs> yeah. slithering around trying to get to the, the slumber party. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, is that playing anywhere? It's no. It's, okay. It's not. <laughs> you got to rent it or whatever. Yeah. But okay. go oh, well. to Austin. No, Jones. no. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, you got to rent. We got to play hard to get a little bit here. Yeah. All right. Uh, but it's playing somewhere. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> playing at my house, and you're not invited. Yeah. Rich. You know what? Fuck Austin Film Society. Whoa, no. whoa, 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 whoa. Go to Six Flags whoa, Fright whoa, Fest. No. All right, bring a Coke can. There are enough we'll bleep Absolutely noises not. in the whoa, world whoa, whoa, for whoa. what you just said, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> bring a Coke can, your whole fucking family gets in. Dude, right. are, have you been infected with the slime or something? I've never seen you <laughs> yeah, like this. what is going on? I'm trying to get fucking money. Here, I'm about Murphy. to vote someone off right now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, yeah. Yeah, fuck those we'll guys. See. All right. Yeah. Um, we should probably get to my snack because it might be melting. Uh I am scared. I'm actually, we might be dealing with a different kind of slime right now as I open my my little cooler here. Oh, no. Um, not mine. It's my brother's. He's sitting in with us today. Shout out to Alex Murphy. Hey, Alex. Um, he, uh, he, he loaned me this because we're in a new studio. We're going to get the fridge in here soon. But, uh, okay. I think they're still good. To, 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 to I love when someone says, I think they're still good before they feed me something. That's a great thing to hear about something that's going to wind up in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's checking out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Good to come go. see, come saw, you know. <laughs> 
We're almost there. Uh, even a broken clock is fucked twice a day, as they say, oh, or whatever. Yeah. That um, is what they say. Now, look, um, it's not just Halloween. And a very, uh, there's also another special holiday that happened recently, oh. and one that we said we'd never forget. And yet, uh, I see people doing it more often these days. Yeah. Yeah, that makes me sad. The Alamo, well, always. I mean, <laughs> pour one out for our fallen Texans. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I stand on the other side. I can't remember whose side I'm supposed to be on on the Alamo. Um, yeah, I don't know. I usually saw. I usually think American, not the way to go. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, we're gonna cut all this out. I sound like a fucking annoying liberal arts student right now. Um, and that's new and different. <laughs> Hey, I'm not always wearing shirts like this. Sometimes I look approachable, you know? Uh, so, look, um, it was 9-11, you know? And then something happened recently. Because I was, I've was i been sad for, like, weeks. I, every year 9-11 comes around, I'm i am down for the count. Well, you're a New Yorker. I'm a fucking New Yorker, man. All right? They, they attacked you. Yeah. I grew up I near the Bronx. They attacked him a little. Yeah. About four Never. hours north in Binghamton, New York. <laughs> right. I had to go through kind of the hill country. But I'm, hey... I, I got Bronx in my blood, baby. You know? They attacked you just like Mexico attacked us at the Alamo. That's okay. I thought that was what happened. <laughs> Start getting pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cut out the part where I was talking about it at all. So it's just you saying that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's some echo We're gonna have reverb to my voice. Uh, <laughs> So, but here's this, not, I'm, I, I got to get it moving here. Uh, th- look, another it's thing melting. happened that brought me out of my 9-11 funk that I get in every year, and that's Let's that the it. Yankees won the damn pennant. All right? They're going to the playoffs, and uh, Aaron Go Judge ahead. is fastly approaching. Oh, yeah. I think of record, or he already broke it. Uh, I'm a Fairweather fan, yeah? Yeah. He tied Babe Ruth 60 home runs in a season. Yeah. He's about to be tied for most all time. Thank you, Alex. And uh, and that's huge, you know, because we've been kind of a unfortunate, we've been a misfortune franchise, you oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> you guys the, really needed some help. The curse is real. Yeah. Let me tell you. It's You go to the Bronx, you can feel it, man. We need these guys to come through. <laughs> so there's a Bronx treat. goes back uh, years and years. Uh, my, my mom used to make it for me when I was sitting out on that stoop, you yeah. know. Uh, looking you, out. You, Jesus, Mero. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the only guy who still talks to both of them, by the way. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get them back together. I go, come on, man. You're the only one. And the way I'm going to do it for them (laughs) is I'm going to give them what we call a limber de coco. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a frozen treat. Okay. Okay. All right. And it's basic. It's really simple. It's like coconut milk. It's whole. It's a uh, heavy cream. It's <laughs> cinnamon. It's uh, vanilla extract. You whisk it all together. You freeze it. Again, our that crunch in our there. freezing capabilities. Um, Josh usually likes to wait to see what these guys think before he goes in. Alex, do you want to try one? All right, you want to just pass that to Alex for me, Danny, it, real quick. And, um, it honestly, honestly. Uh, I, this is cocoa. actually doesn't seem horrible. It was very easy. It took me 10 minutes to put together. Uh, I got this from, uh, New York times cooking.newyorktimes.com. And look, I'm usually a postman. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, ever since nine 11, I switched to the post because right. they actually give a shit. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, uh, it's right around November, 2016. Yeah. yeah. When I started reading the post regularly. Yeah. I guess, uh, New York times stopped caring about our national security. But I, I don't have to get into that whole thing right now. Uh, no, the, uh, this was from a lady called Millie Paratree. Because there's a lot of different... <laughs> she yeah, yeah. Like a real Bronx. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A Bronx, bro. Wait, you should smell you it. You want to try one, Josh? It smells okay. really good. It smells promising. Are you guys so, going to go? So you so you do, you squeeze it out of the cup and go for it. Now, <laughs> now is it supposed wait, to be no flaky? How, how many do you have in there? <laughs> I got five. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking like Mary Poppins over here. <laughs> yeah. About to pull out a lampshade and a... Yeah. It, this is this smells so promising. So everything I watch, though, yeah, you don't eat it with a spoon. It's supposed to be like a popsicle. You squeeze out, is it and then you kind of melty. Or uh, like, no, it's no, not no, supposed no. to be melty. Oh, it's not. It's oh, supposed okay. to be a little bit more like like congealed, I guess, than it is right now. But um, mm. let's give it a taste. That's some of the, that's some of the better limber de coco I've ever had. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is it oh. top five? Or? It might be. Yeah, you're on like a letterboxed for just limber de cocos, right? You yeah. just <laughs> yeah. You're big into oh, them. Wow. That's good. It's good? All right. Yeah. That's not bad. 
coming from Josh, that's high praise. That's like, you know, because you guys usually have to stall for time and try and think of some positives, <laughs> even when it's a truly repulsive snack. Is there chunks of something in here? Coconut. Okay. So here's the thing. Yeah, okay. I had to get like coconut heavy cream, you know, and I went to H-E-B and I accidentally got, I'm, luckily I got heavy cream, regular heavy cream, but then I accidentally got coconut coffee heavy cream which is not part of the recipe, but I was like, fuck it, we'll try it. So I, the recipe didn't call for this, but I put, um, call, it calls for 12 ounces of heavy coconut cream. I took eight ounces of heavy, regular heavy cream. Then I whipped it up with some of the, the coffee stuff. And the, so it adds a little bit of a flavor to it that wasn't there before, I think. Yeah. I don't know. It's a little difficult to eat the way we're doing it. That's yeah. the, I think that I'm the, okay with it. Uh -huh. It's like, you know, some ice chips in there. Mm -hmm. That's why I like it. It tastes like my coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It tastes a little like. Oh, the coffee! You can. You're just taste drinking like creamer, but like. Yeah. It. I actually do like this. Yeah. Well, you don't do that. <laughs> I love. Yeah. Drinking frozen creamer. I wish they'd put them in bigger cups because I'm always <laughs> opening like twelve of them. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Have myself a little station over here, but um, yeah. So, anyways. Limber de Coco, um, I highly recommend this one, but there's a million different variations. You can do like a pina colada version. Um, you can do, yeah, I'll put a little picture in there too so the people can see. I don't know, there's other ones. I, I could think of one other example, but there's multiple others. So. A, f a, mm -hmm. a treat in Fiji where, where my parents are from is just like, it's called Ice Block. And mm -hmm. it's very aptly named because it's just like sugar and milk and like, like sometimes they'll do coconut or mango or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they just stick a toothpick in it and freeze it. And then one guy on the street just sells it for like 50 cents. Oh, for real? Yeah. And then yeah. you just go to some guy's house and get it. And this is giving me ice block vibe. Nice, nice. I like it. Yeah. I mean, it really is very, it is what it is, you know, mm -hmm. like there's no secrets to it really. You can... It's about six ingredients, mostly dairy based. Throw it together, came out good. So, uh, you know, go go Yanks. Yeah, go Yanks, man. Um, I feel like I'm at the bodega right now. Yeah, I know, man. Oh, I miss those guys. Yeah, yeah. Getting the ready, bodega. Getting ready to get a dollar slice. God damn, man. God damn you, Anna Kendrick. <laughs> Fucking Yoko. I won't get into it. Um, look up what I mean. <laughs> I have no idea. People are saying she might be like their Yoko. Mm -hmm. Who's Yoko? She was hanging out with Jesus a lot. Oh, what? Yeah. Really? I think it's just no one really knows who to blame, so they're finding a white lady, scapegoat. And they yeah. go, who didn't we already kind of not like before? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Anna <laughs> Kendrick, yeah. <laughs> Those white ladies have gotten <laughs> too bad a rep. Hey, we've already, <laughs> we've already discussed our thoughts. Um, I think they're great people. I think they need work, you know, just like the rest of us. Right. <laughs> We're all works in progress. You know what I mean? Um, so anyways, this is going to be a 10 minute episode. Um, <laughs> We're sucking down some limber to cocos, <laughs> which will soon just be weird milk um, as it continues to melt. But now that we're we're snacking, uh, I'm ready for someone to kind of tell us a tale, a spooky oh, tale. Man. Yeah, hopefully it's chilling. <laughs> oh, it's chilling. Sorry um, about the white woman stuff. Uh, um, anyways, no, you don't have to apologize to me. I think she's um, a Yakubian devil myself, <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> As I'm, you ever just like wish milk was crunchy? <laughs> yes. Well, you know when you pour it into your cereal sometimes flaky. and it gets clogged up and you're like, ah, give me that stuff. You're it's, like trying to get it out. It's like flaky crunchy. It was like. But it's good. I like it. Yeah, I, I ate the whole thing already. It yeah, really it's like really good. I actually kind of want it to melt a little bit more. Me, me too. too. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's better. I as do a like it, but that's what it is. You're like, mm, milk. <laughs> and then you crunch through it. Anyways, I've got my story. <laughs> as I. um. <laughs> wrote this i was like is this funny or scary or is it neither <laughs> so um we'll make it both josh do you have the music for us yes i do Hold on. i'm gonna sip some water because my mouth is sure? just so milky right now Oh, that's not it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa. Was Can you, no, wait. I hope you're staring. Are we at the club right now? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It. I want that to be the new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that crunchy, crunchy milk. <laughs> I mean, that's 
<laughs> I love it, man. I know. It really is good. It's it really something I didn't know that. I was missing in my life, yeah. you know? Because uh, I love milk. I love shards of things. It's the kind of frozen that it is. Shattered like milk. Yeah, yeah. Shoot. Do you happen to have the uh, charger for because when this computer's dead? Oh. I don't what? have a charger. Did I bring my backpack in? Or did I, fuck. Yeah. I do not. All right. Well, I got one in, of you is going to have to the, Yeah, yeah. The audio. Yeah. Okay, pretend like the music just came on and you got really scared. So we're going to have to really rely on your storytelling skills, Ashley. I'm sure that won't be an issue today. <laughs> go <Well>. ahead. <clears throat> you know what? Let's go. Okay. I, I got this. <clears throat> I'm also losing my voice, so that's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of sounds like a nail scratching against the brick wall or something. That's yeah. what I always think about your voice. Okay. Um, <laughs> Andrew Marie Murphy sat down on his oh, bed. Oh, fuck, dude. What? <laughs> no, go ahead. Oh, oh my God. That's, I yeah. totally forgot. Crazy coincidence. No, that's so weird. I wonder what's going to inseminate me today. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> I like being on the wrong end of a creature rape fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, if that's wrong, <laughs> if that's the wrong, hey, end, call me the Prince of Darkness. I don't want to you know see I mean? the right one. <laughs> Andrew Marie Murphy <laughs> sat down on his bed and took a deep breath. He stared at his reflection in the ornate hotel vanity, replaying the day in his head. Little moments flashed through his head as he listened to his girlfriend, er, wife, hum a melody in the other room. <laughs> The smiles of his friends and family, glass after glass of golden champagne, his bride, Daniela Goodwin. Wait. <laughs> oh, what? Daniela Goodwin? Yeah, that's just her name okay. that I came up with. Daniela Sounds Goodwin's. Really familiar. Yeah. His bride, Daniela Goodwin. Sounds like it's kind of like a 10 dating a 7, <laughs> just based on the characters. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just getting a vibe, you know? Felt like a 2 and a 2 to me, All right, but yeah. anyways. <laughs> His bride, Daniela Goodwin. Goodwin's rosy cheeks as they dance their first dance. The rosy. twinkle. Rosy. I'm fat. That's what that means. <laughs> no. No. Daniela. Yeah. Hey, don't body shame. We don't do that yeah. here. We don't do that here. <laughs> Jolly <Is> old Daniela. <laughs> <laughs> like a bowl full of jelly. No. The twinkle in her eyes as they consummated their marriage. The happiest 12 seconds of <laughs> Was, I mean, all right, look, dangerously look close. have I thought about it? Yeah. <laughs> of course. I mean, <laughs> have we gotten close? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why a do you think we started times. a podcast yeah. instead? <laughs> all right. When you're in a, a car that's about to freeze over and the engine's not turning, you know? <laughs> or when you're at your house on a Tuesday. Yeah, all right. Well. Weather's great. Uh. <laughs> your friends are like, come out, and something's telling you to stay home. Anyways. We were scrapbooking. Go ahead. <laughs> The happiest 12 seconds of his life. Deep red rose petals dotting a pristine white lace runner. Andrew smiles. No, I didn't. Today was perfect. A clatter from the next room jolted him from his thoughts. Daniela, he called. No response. Oh, my beautiful wife, Daniela, he sing-songed walking towards the living area of their honeymoon suite. As he approached the double doors that separated the two rooms, he felt a fleeting uneasiness that disappeared as he saw somebody slip through the doors and into the bedroom. Even in the dark lighting, he knew her. Tall, blonde, with a distinct hourglass figure. His girl. Oh, okay. Huh. So it's, it's like, I've seen her already tonight and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're also, just... she's your wife. Okay, I know. You just kind of really built it up like it's a, the first time I'm laying eyes on he her. He reached out to her. Mm. Oh, Danielle Marie Goodwin Murphy, how we doing? <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> he stopped short as his hand touched hers. He froze where he expected the warm, soft, tiny hand of his wife. He was met with cold, hard plastic. Oh, God. Can we get an air horn in here? <laughs> just for, just unrelated. 
<laughs> he stepped back and the figure stepped into the light. A woman. Tall, slender, but curvy. Bright blue <laughs> eyes. <laughs> bright blue eyes and long blonde hair. She wore a long, silk red gown that matched her perfect red nails. This woman would be undeniably gorgeous, mine for the fact that she was head to toe made of plastic. Oh. A life-size doll. Andrew stared incredulously with fear welling up in his chest. His eyes darted from her toy face to her chest, which was moving. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Did a fly just fly into your mouth? <laughs> No, it's, I only wrote this once and didn't read over it. You got and some I, leche says, de choco when it's, <laughs> stuck in there? Or? I started laughing because it says from her toy face to her chest, trying to say that she's breathing, but it just sounds like you like want to fuck her. I mean, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not off board completely. Right. You know? <laughs> right. Neither am I. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, sorry. Her eye, his eyes darted from her toy face to her chest, which was moving and breathing. What the hell is going on? Was this a living doll? He opened his mouth to scream when he was hit with a wave of familiarity, comfort. No, wait. This couldn't be. Sarah, he said. The doll smiled. It's me! Sarah wasn't just any doll. It was Andrew's sister's doll. Though many didn't know it, Andrew Murphy had a twin sister. Alexis Murphy. <laughs> was, that, was her middle name Frank? <laughs> <laughs> Alexis Frank Murphy. The two were best friends. They did everything together. They could play for hours without a single fight. Andrew didn't even mind playing with Alexis's favorite doll as long as he was with his sister. However, sadly, when they were 10, Alexis grew mysteriously sick and passed away. Andrew took it hard. He became an angry, violent kid. The only thing that calmed him down was the comfort of his sister's beloved doll, Sarah. <laughs> he, carried with, he carried Sarah with him everywhere for much too long. <laughs> This is like when that cowgirl <laughs> sings that song in Toy Story 2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I'm actually kind of getting emotional right <laughs> now. <laughs> Sounds like a real bond. He carried Sarah with him everywhere for much too long. He even wrapped Sarah in his favorite hoodie and smuggled him off to college with him, snuggling with her every night. It wasn't until he met the love of his life, Daniela Goodwin, that he finally gave Sarah away. Or so he thought. <laughs> oh, shit. Sarah, is that you? Hi, Andrew. What are you doing here? I took care of things so we could be together. Be together? It was at this moment that Andrew realized that it wasn't a red gown. It was his wife's wedding gown stained with blood on oh, her body. Oh, he fuck. Oh, shit. What did you do? He pushed past the doll to find his beautiful wife, <laughs> Daniela Goodwin. <laughs> dead on the floor. Damn. Her phone next to her was open to an article called, What Do You Do If Your New Husband, Andrew Murphy, Is Really Bad at Sex? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that is so specific. <laughs> that sounds like that a just, Times article to me. Is, <laughs> they got my number, I tell you what. <laughs> he turned back to the doll. Why did you do this? We were in love, she said. I thought we were good when I killed off your sister. Oh. <gasps> Damn. But then you threw me away, <laughs> and I knew I had to get rid of her too. <laughs> what? Huh? How? This can't be happening. Dolls aren't real. Murphy yelled. That's the thing I'm concerned with right now. That's, that's my first point of order. Hey, your brother's dead. Yeah. Alexis Dolls is dead. Dolls aren't real. Alexis Frank is gone. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, wait a minute. You're an inanimate object. Dolls can't talk. What the hell is this? Toy Story 2? Uh, yeah. Toy Story 3? Yeah. 
More like it. Or Toy Story 4. Keeps <laughs> <laughs> going. <laughs> or Lightyear. <laughs> no. The smile faded from her face. That's right, Andrew. Dolls aren't real. And then he was hit hard with a plastic punch. When he woke up, he was snuggled up with the original little Sarah doll in the bed. And despite the trail of blood coming from the living room, Andrew Murphy, <laughs> Andrew Murphy, felt that peace. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, wait. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> there was a lot of characters. A lot of characters. That's all right. It's an ensemble story. So I wake up, uh, but I, it wasn't a dream. I'm still with the doll, right? You got the. I'm in my mind. It's that the doll was never alive, and okay. that he was just killing these people because he was obsessed with the doll. Mm. Oh, Murphy was killing these people. Mm -hmm. oh. Dolls aren't real. Did you miss the part where she uh, said, "This can't be happening"? Dolls aren't a real. A little Patrick Bateman American Psycho oh. thing going on, ah, yeah, kind or, of, or maybe psycho. hide and seek. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 yes, it's mm. yeah. Not to spoil <laughs> hide and seek with Robert De Niro and Dakota yeah. Fanning. That was me and my dad's favorite movie. Which, in retrospect, wow, is weird. What a weird pull. That's like if you just showed me like a now that's what I call music forty eight or something. It's like that's like a movie from the the past yeah, for sure. Absolutely. That's a, I I that was one of the first like scary movies I saw. Mm -hmm. And my dad would do a fun thing where he'd spoiler he would pretend to be having like be Charlie the like alternate personality that was like a murder guy. And it scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. How's he doing? And then well, I brought it up to him recently, and I was like, Dad, do you remember he used to do that? And he was like, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> My dad used to do that with me, but we were reenacting Man on Fire, and I was Dakota Fanning, yeah, yeah. and he was the, the cartel or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what Dakota Fanning movie did your dad <laughs> reenact when you were a kid? I was trying to go darker than that. I, I, <laughs> I couldn't think of one. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yeah. <laughs> what, what was the one? Uh, She's uh, in War of the Fucking Worlds. Oh, yeah. that's a cool one. Movie. That's a yeah. nice one. Well, folks, that was a. I mean, hey, look, that was a great story. Despite you know, it was a really good true story. Kind of a hatchet job, huh? No play on words intended, but uh, didn't paint me in a great light. And uh, I, I know what I'm doing down there. Just want to put that out there. Yeah. <laughs> she said twelve seconds. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not bad. It's double digits, right? Well, she also that's said it was bad. <laughs> well, let's, let's not worry about it. That was an old article. <laughs> if anything, we'll wish it was quicker it yeah. was a really really long time ago okay 12 seconds ago okay all right let's let's vote let's vote <laughs> now we're gonna vote someone out and i'm starting to really know my answer <laughs> but why don't we start with the last person who was voted off that was you danny um well i gotta say i don't want to vote myself off because i like that movie and uh murph i gotta tell you man the way you were describing this as if like you were like, I got to bring a cooler. And, and when you were like describing this New York treat, I was like, no, he's, he's going to fuck this thing up. There's no way. And I got to tell you, I think everyone in this room has crushed their, um, what was it again? Lim, Limber, Limber de, Limber de Coco. Lim, Limber de Coco. It's named after a pilot. Like it was like the pilot who landed in Puerto Rico or something. It's oh. like the drink they brought him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, anyways. regardless, really good. Thanks, buddy. I liked it a lot. I thought you crushed it. And then by, I mean, I guess by process of elimination, that would probably, that would probably mean it's you, Ash. You told a story about Andrew fucking me in the ass for four <laughs> seconds. I'm not going to go, oh, that one. That was my favorite. I'm not going to say that. No matter how good it is. So and you made us have, bad at it too. Right, you couldn't exactly. even make us if good at fucking each other. If it was like good sex, I'd maybe consider it. But no, it sounded unpleasant. I got killed. Murphy's the murderer, and I I gotta say you're you're out. I'm probably gonna get voted out, and I want to be on the record before they they mute me before they silence me that it was absolutely worth it. That's fair. <laughs> who are who are you gonna vote out? Mm, uh. Danny, because Crunchy Milk takes it for me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, well, 
that was fun that you got your little vote in there because uh, <laughs> you're out of here. <laughs> Sayonara. When people, when people are defensive. No, you don't get closing statements. Uh, we've never had a closing something statement. Is true. That's not how we do this we've here. When people are defensive. Statement. If I had a gavel right now, true. I'd be throwing it at your head. Yeah. <laughs> Clip that. No, Clip that. no. <laughs> if I had a gavel. There's no hy- hypothetical me twos. That's I'm not how it works. <laughs> Get out of here, Ashley. What are you doing? Your your mom is honking the horn. <laughs> like it's a quiet neighborhood. You were yeah. honking Danny's horn. Okay. All right, all right, all right. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Okay. Damn. Alex, you want to get in the spotlight real quick? Yeah, Alex. Just come hang. It's about time the fucking boys kick uh, yeah, back. Yeah, <laughs> come on, man. You know? Let's talk about real let's talk about chicks, man. Yeah. Dude, you know, chick, this is like our real, you know, sleepovers growing up. Yeah. Like, wait for one of your friends to go home and then just slide into their sleeping bag. Yeah. Uh, you <laughs> wouldn't always wait. Bag. You wouldn't always wait, but uh <laughs> <laughs> a lot of non-binary friends yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> back in oh, the day. Okay, I was on go. the cutting edge yeah, of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of that. It's the most progressive twelve-year-old in upstate New York. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> that's how they do it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Chicks, though, Chicks. they'll never understand. <laughs> they'll never understand. It's just like parents, man. Yeah. And uh, and fuck, what else could we talk about? Fucking sports. I mean, yeah. let's get it all out, boys. This is this is a man cave, right? It's kind now. of a Josh, slow time for thinking? sports. About uh, football right now? Just about dude stuff. About or dude football, stuff. yeah. Are you a football fan? Uh, I'm. Uh, the last time I paid attention to football was when Jay Novacek and Troy Aikman and them played on Dallas Cowboys. Oh, shit, mm-hmm. okay. So a long time ago. There we go. But right I'm 3-0 there, and all in my baby. fantasy league. So. Hey, oh, boys. Hey, okay. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah. The boys aren't looking that bad this year. No. Uh, well, eh, remains to be seen. They beat they beat Burrow in the gang. They did, but the Bengals are looking like a pile of dog shit. They just might. Yeah. Cooper Rush, but maybe he's the guy. Yeah, and that's what we'll determine on next week's compromise. Yeah, folks, it's been a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging, Alex. Uh, any closing statements you want to sign us off? I just want to say that, uh, you know, I really admire you guys' work. Hey. Oh, and, thanks. Uh, that's particularly great. your work in the bedroom. All right. Nice. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Yeah, sleeper <laughs> agent. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to vote Ashley off again next time yeah. and then redo it with that without Alex. <laughs> yeah. But you'll have to tune in to find out. Bye. Peace. Scumber Party.